Hey folks, today is September the 8th. As you guys can see here, we currently have our Scorpio code indicators working now. I was able to uh, talk to support and get things worked out. We're going to be trading on the five minute chart. As you can see here, everything that I have, all of my currency pairs are five minute. So now we just have to wait for a, a proper conservative trade setup. All right, let's take a look over here at the website members area. There was a webinar yesterday. I want to check real quick to see if they've posted that yet. All right, it was supposed to be a good one, but not up yet. Hopefully, it'll be there by the end of the day. Next, let's see if anybody's uploaded any charts. All right, hi Vlad. Yesterday I made 36 pips on two consecutive buy trades, Euro USD and AUD USD. I followed your instructions exactly. Forgot to save my screenshots to share. Next time I will share them here. I've not taken any mod moderate and aggressive trades yet because I want to take things slow and learn step by step. Hopefully I can see your record recorded webinar in the members area soon. All right, great stuff. All right, here's the setup on USD Japanese Yen, aggressive buy. Pretty sure I got all seven rules. Let's take a look at it real quick. All right, bullish, aggressive, one green arrow pointing up. Scorpions are definitely stepping down, lower high, lower low. Let's see what the vendor had to say about that. All right, very bad setup, my friend. All the little Scorpios are stuck in the two ones check screenshot above all right so basically what he's telling us is not to trade off of interior scorpions as we can see here all of these little tiny scorpions are inside of this big scorpion or these two big scorpions we don't want to take trades inside of this we want to see them outside of those levels Ugly range, all stuck inside. All right, let's see if anybody else posted any uh, trade setups here. Hi, Vlad. I'm trying to apply the one, two, three, four with the scorpions. For me, I might have a potential sell here. For my learning, I would like to know if I'm better now. I mean, the four is not there, but let think it will appear. That could be a good pattern. Thank you for sharing. In today's video, I teach how to avoid these too many Scorpio situations. Thank you. I got that part with too many Scorpios. Wow, that helps. All right, so yeah, in the video, he did talk about how you can uh, lessen the amount of Scorpio scorpions that you see on the chart. He talked about that in one of the DVDs. All right, my first trade with Scorpio Eurocad aggressive five minute winner. All right, great, it's a winner, but it's a bad setup. Please watch the DVD, my lesson on not on not tradable situations. Let's see what it looks like. All right, once again, we have two scorpions and a bunch of small ones on the inside. Non tradable situation. Same as the first one we looked at. All right, let's keep on going down here. Here is a winning trade on GBP USD, moderate buy, 30 minute chart. Was a good trade for 30 pips. What do you think? All right, looks like he was looking for a long trade. Got the blue arrow there. And as you can see here, we have the scorpions stepping down, lower high, lower low. Let's see what the vendor says about this one. Just want to share my first day of live trading. I finished with 93 pips in profit. Wow. Very happy to hear that, my friend. Just remember, we don't celebrate after one good day. We never cry after a bad day. We need markets to move to make us money. When they do, we make money. When they don't, not no system on earth can make money. So let's trade on good moving days. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your start, and thank you for sharing. Keep it up. All right. 
I've led long trade on USD Japanese yen, 15 minute moderate. I clicked the pop up box to buy, but the MT4 platform didn't execute the trade. I think I already looked at this one. He didn't have the auto trade button at the top pressed. All right, so that's where we're at with that. Now we're just going to wait and see if we can get some trade setups here. All right, I'll go ahead and actually let me mention this right here. These diamonds represent levels of support and resistance. So when we see those, it's basically telling us to uh, not take a trade into those levels. All right, once I get a pop-up, I'll come back and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we did just get a conservative pop-up. Let's go ahead and take a look here. All three arrows are red, pointing down. Bearish, conservative. That looks good. The MFD has moved to be above the market. That's good. We have this diamond here, which acts as a level of resistance for us. That is good. The last thing we need to look at is the scorpions. Are they in a proper pattern here for us? And what we want to see is them uh, making higher highs. And obviously that didn't happen here. So we'll keep waiting. All right, folks, we have a few conservative setups here. Let's take a look. USD Japanese Yen. All right, everything is pointing down. Bearish, conservative. The MFD is above the market right here. We actually have this diamond, which is a great sign for us. And what are the scorpions looking like? One, two. All right, so we're definitely making higher lows, higher highs. I say we go ahead and enter this one. Let me first check out the Euro USD setup. Another great situation with a diamond right beneath us. Only problem is we don't have a scorpion right here. All right, we're making lower lows on the high, but we needed one right here for the low. So Euro USD is a no trade for me. Let's go back to USD Japanese yen. And let's go ahead and jump on this one, a sell. How about that? It looks like it enters our stop and take profits for us. Very nice, very nice. And in the system, it does tell us to trail our stop down. At least until we get uh, to, to the break-even point. All right, we'll continue to watch it. We're at about eight minutes in this video. I'll pause it so it doesn't go on too long. Be back moment. Actually, let me mark these levels just in case I come back and the market's already gone through one of them. And one more here. All right, be back momentarily. Just another quick update. I want you guys to see how this manages the trade for us. Once the next white dot pops up, our stop should move down to within five pips of it. Initially, our stop was up here, and the system all by itself has just been slowly bringing it down. And there it is. I just wanted you guys to uh, be able to actually see that. And like I said previously, it'll most likely continue to do that until we hit the break even level. So it'll be interesting to keep watching that. Also, here's the uh, news indicator I spoke of. Two hours and five minutes. So we don't have anything right now that's going to hinder us. All right, so we'll keep watching it, and I'll come back, uh, hopefully, once we get closer to our take profit level. It's about 12.05 now, so i got to leave about 2 o'clock. We'll see what happens. All right, folks, another uh, quick update here. As you can see, we've had a little pullback here, and they have almost gotten us back to the entry price with our stop. I mean, we're about three pips away. So we'll see what happens here. They've really cut down the risk on this trade. 
So if it does turn out to be a loser, it'll only be a three pip loser. So definitely impressed by the way this has been managing our trades. And like I said, this is just my first day of trading testing. I'm going to upload this video, not so much the video, but I'll probably upload a picture of this trade into the members area. So Vlad can uh, critique it and let me know what he thinks about it and see if there was uh, anything maybe I missed here. My hope is, we'll see, this level right here has been respected. You can see right there, didn't pass it there, it was respected there. So it's been used as support, it was used as resistance right here. So we'll see if it uh, can be used as resistance again here to push us back down. I'll keep watching it. All right, I'll be back momentarily. Hey folks, just another quick update. The market has uh, been stuck at this level right here. And every time I think it's gonna pop up and hit our stop, it'll uh, just turn around. Did it on this bar, on this bar. And you can see this one opened up a little bit higher. We'll see how it closes. I was going to try to catch it when it actually uh, stops us out here. But I got to head out for a second. I'll give it another few minutes here and we'll see if we can catch it taking us out. All right, guys. Looks like we're pushing past this level now. So it might hit our uh, stop here. Pretty sure it's going to hit it. There it is. All right, so we had a three pip loss for today here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, post this on the members area, like I said, and see what uh, Vlad has to say about it. From what I saw, everything looked to be correct, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully on Monday, I'll be able to uh, check it out in the on the uh, video and see what he says about this trade. All right, guys, I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday so that we can uh, take some more trades. Take care.